Five balls left. Good batting from Jesse Singh. I think they'll just take the single. They're going to take on the second. Could be a run out chance if it was picked up cleanly. And it's not. It's fumbled by Arif Sheikh. Not for the first time today either. Big moment in the match. Should they have taken the second? Yes. Which is what they should have done the previous over because again, it's 82 yards out there. That side of the ground, the east side of the ground, it's such a long way to run, such a long way to throw. You've got to put the pressure on the field. That's what they should have done in the previous over. They learned from their conservative mistake in the 19th. They take on the second because again, USA has got four wickets in hand. If they get run out there, so be it. Jesse Singh took the gamble, put the pressure on Ara Sheikh, who, as you said, has not been at his best in the field tonight, and it pays off. Changing the field. The man who was at cover, Gulshan Jazz, come in to kind of try and plug that gap. He's come into a square leg, almost saving the single. USA are just a boundary away. Any boundary will do. Even an edge. Big gap between the keeper and that short third. Four to win off four. That's where the ball goes. It will be a single. Dakal wisely chooses not to throw it. It means that House could put the finishing touches on this match now. Three to win off three. Surely Nepal need a wicket and they needed this ball. Well, Andre's House has had a lot of runs in his USA career so far, especially in T20 cricket. But he hasn't really had a signature moment. And this could be it. He's taken them all the way up to the finish line. Can he get them across the finish line is the question. And he's telling Jesse Singh, leave it to me. I'll get us across the line from here. Can he do it though? Three to an off three. Kami to house. Hit in the air towards Long On. Kushal Bertel is out there! He takes the catch! Nepal have life! Can they pull the rabbit from the hat? House, the set man is gone. He can't believe what he's done. And it's all going to go down to the last two balls now. Well, he tried to finish it off in one ball. But USA are going to need those last two deliveries if they're going to get across the line here. Chaos. That signature moment. It's going to have to wait for another day because he tried to clear that very deep boundary on the leg side. It's an 80 plus yard hit to that side of the ground. But Kushal Bertel with his second catch in that position tonight. And House stunned. USA still need three to win off the last two balls. House gone for 62, 168 for seven. And Peter, you are not going to believe who's coming in at number nine. I'm not sure who writes these scripts for the associate game, the game that we love. It's that man, it's the pantomime villain. It's Ali Khan. Well, Ali Khan is somebody who's got a reputation as the type of tail under who swings wildly. I'm not sure I agree with this. Saurabh Netravalkar is somebody who has a track record of getting a bat on ball much more consistently than Ali Khan and Nash Kenjage, the other option in reserve. Both of those guys are players who you can rely on them to get bat on ball. All you need is one here and then another single to potentially send this to a super over, Lenny. You don't need boundaries. Ali Khan, if you needed six to win at this situation, I would send in Ali Khan. I don't necessarily agree with this. I would have sent in Kenji Gehr, Volker, just to guarantee you're going to get bat on ball. The crowd are reaching fever pitch. It's three to win off two. It's an inside edge. It's going to be at least one. Will they think of a second? No, they won't. KC does the fielding. Ali Khan's maybe done his job. He's handed it over to Jesse Singh. And this stake stars and summits trophy. The fate of it, it all comes down to the final delivery of this second T20i. Two to win for USA. Any wicket or a dot for Nepal. One sends us to a super over. Well, Ali Khan has been in this situation before. If you remember to Antigua in November 2021, it was Samin Arasi Tehran 
who were together at the crease for the final ball when Canada had a brain fade. And the pair of them ran a couple buys to send the match into a super over. Ali Khan is going to need to recall on that experience to make sure he runs here to guarantee anything. A single, a buy, whatever it takes to just get that one run at the minimum to stretch this into a super over. One to tie for USA, two to win with Jesse Singh on strike. They've been in these situations before. Ali Khan has very directly been in this situation before <laughs> three years ago. And Jesse Singh is going to be the man who's got to get USA at least to the line, if not over the line. Well, there's fielders running everywhere. There was a huge conflab between the captain and some of the senior players. Sam Palkami, he was the one who's been given the faith of the captain to bowl this final over. It all comes down to the final ball. He's done a wonderful job to now. It's two to win. One sends us to the super over. A dot or a wicket wins it for Nepal. Here we go. It's a short ball. It's pulled into the deep. They'll get the one. It's Dependra Singh Iree. The throw comes in. It's on the bounce. It's a run out. And we're going to the super over. All the way. We can't separate them in normal time. And the fans, they're loving every second. And fittingly, it's Dependra Singh Iree's throw that runs it out for the second. Not quite Lords in 2019, but we have a super over under the Saturday Night Floodlights in Grand Prairie. Well, you want to put your best field in that position. That was most likely where it was going to go with that ball, that Sumble Kami bowled. He bowled it short on purpose. He was playing for a drag into the leg side he got what he wanted he got it straight to the field he wanted it to go to <laughs> and Ali Khan did his job he bolted like there was no tomorrow from the non-strikers and he got back comfortably for the second but Jesse Singh was just struggling to get the momentum going after playing the shot and he was never going to get back for that second run and it means we've got bonus cricket Lenny check check well, incredible scenes here in Grand Prairie, and I have to say, it's no more than everyone deserves, the organisers. And there's, a, as always, drama, because they're working out exactly what has to happen. It was a short ball. He didn't get a great piece of it, but look at the coolness and the calmness under pressure here of Dependra Singh Iree. It wasn't his usual flat throw. He said, I know I've got time to just lob it in to Asif Sheikh. And Nepal, they'll feel as though they've kind of won that super over. And USA may feel as though they've given it away. They only needed seven to win from the final over. Kami concedes only six. And it's 170 apiece. 170, plays 170. And we're off to the super over. And these fans, they're not going to go anywhere. What a contest. And what a gripping piece, again, of the game that we love. Associate cricket at its very best.